It's a major dam that feeds uh, water to the cooling towers of a major nuclear power plant in uh, the Ukraine may be affected due to the dam being blown up by Russia. And now back to the war in Ukraine. Kiev and Moscow are blaming each other for the destruction of a major dam in a Russian-controlled area that has unleashed heavy flooding and forced major evacuations in an area close to a nuclear power plant. CBS News foreign correspondent Deborah Pata is following the very latest and has all the details. Drone footage shown on President Zelensky's social media channel revealed the extent of the damage to the Kahovka power plant. The blast smashed through the dam wall, resulting in this massive breach. Water from the Dnipro River is now gushing downstream in the direction of the southern city of Kherson, raising fears of massive flooding in low-lying areas, forcing some residents to evacuate. Shocked locals woke up to the destruction. Everything is getting wiped out on the way, said this man. Zelensky has placed the blame squarely on Russia's shoulders, while the Kremlin has accused Kiev of blowing it up. The dam is in Russian-occupied territory and is important for the safe running of the Kremlin-controlled Zaporizhia nuclear power plant, which Moscow-backed authorities say is stable for now. The blast follows an uptick in Ukrainian offensive action along the eastern front line as troops push forward, possibly probing for weaknesses in Russia's defense. Overnight, Russian rockets hit Kharkiv, damaging homes and businesses. And the Kremlin once again targeted the Ukrainian capital, where Kiev authorities said more than 20 missiles were intercepted. Well, Zelensky has convened an emergency meeting of the National Security and Defense Council, saying the destruction of the Kahovka Dam confirms to the whole world that Russia should be expelled from every corner of Ukraine. Anne-Marie? Uh, this would have been a disaster, uh, even if this wasn't happening in the middle of a war. Um, so you have a mass evacuation uh, taking place. I presume the, the water is still flooding more areas. What is the current situation there? And, and do we have any idea how this could have happened? Well, as we know for now that there are several concerns. The waters could reach critical levels in some areas towards Kherson in the south. Evacuations, as we know, are taking place. 800 people, 850 people evacuated so far. Both sides of Russia and um, on the Russian and Ukrainian side of the, of the river, essentially, are also evacuating people. And Kiev officials have said it's created a humanitarian crisis and, importantly, an environmental one. But mm -hmm. Kahovka Dam is a very important water supply, huge swaths of Agricultural areas are fed by that dam. It's built on the Dnipro River, and the reservoir also supplies water, importantly, to the Crimean Peninsula, which was annexed by Russia in 2014, and is important also for the safe running of the Zaporizhia nuclear power plant, which is also under Russian control. Now, the Independent Atomic Energy Agency has also been informed, and they say they're monitoring the situation but that there appears to be no immediate nuclear safety risk to the plant right now. Zelensky at this moment is convening an emergency meeting to discuss the situation. Um, Ukraine has accused Russia of blowing up the dam from the inside in a deliberate, what they say is war crime, while Russian installed officials gave conflicting accounts, some Ukrainian um, shelling, they say, is to blame others, say the dam burst on its own. And but why would why would Ukrainian people want to blow up a dam that's important to them? Marie. On its own. Hmm. All right, Deborah. Thank you very.